Hi, everyone. Welcome to episode number 33 of the Atlas Annuity Podcast. My name is Marty Becker. I am the owner and founder of Atlas Financial Strategies in St. Louis, Missouri, where we specialize in safe money retirement strategies. In this episode, I want to talk about some recent conversations that I've had, which is where I get most of the material for this podcast because they're real world situations. So I've had some conversations about the returns regarding some of the fixed indexed annuities that I've placed in the past couple of years. Now, when I help people fund these pure growth annuities, I always set the expectation between four to 7% average over a 10 year term. Okay. Now, that means at the end of the term, it would have equaled four to seven percent every year. That's very different from getting four to seven percent every single year because no investment works like that, regardless of what you're doing. The only thing that is going to have a consistent flat return is a fixed return rate. Okay. So even when you're in the market with equities, you're going to have years that you have huge gains, and then you're going to have years that you have huge losses. Now, with the annuities, you're going to have some big years, and then you're going to have years where you have low growth or no growth. But remember, the whole point of the annuity is to have that protection while your other investments are sustaining a loss. It's a safe bucket of money to dip into in those circumstances. Now, I'm always very clear of the expectations of what the annuity will most likely do. In fact, I just had a similar conversation yesterday with a gentleman who had received an illustration with some pretty unreasonable growth rates that would happen every single year. And it was highly unlikely that ever would actually happen for him, mainly because these annuities just aren't designed to do that. Now, could that happen? Absolutely. Am I willing to bet my client's future income on that happening? Absolutely not. However, I know people forget, especially when you're a couple years into the annuity term, and people just forget those conversations. And it can be frustrating, especially when you're comparing it to what is happening into the market right now, specifically the S&P 500. And because the S&P is hitting some all-time high records right now in June of 2024, I, I kind of want to put some things in context, okay? So the S&P 500 is made up of 500 of the largest companies in the United States across several different sectors, okay? But you basically have about six or seven companies pulling up the entire value of the S&P 500. A lot of these other companies are missing their quarterly goals and their quarterly targets and are not doing well. And even though it may appear that the economy is doing well, it isn't. Okay. And it always depends on who you listen to and who you get your information from. But I tend to lean towards the people and read their information who have been right in the past. Okay. I don't watch CNBC because the majority of people on there who are interviewed, there are also people who are paying for advertisement on that station. It's not reliable information. And normally by the time you get a hot tip, from the financial pundits, it's past. Okay. So be careful who you get your information from and where we're really at as a nation, as far as our economic health goes. So again, I just want to put some things in context here because there's always a trade-off between safety and risk. Okay. You can't have it both ways. It just doesn't work in the financial world. You, you just can't. And it's no different than if you had a Ferrari that does 180 miles per hour, don't be completely shocked that you end up paralyzed, if not killed, if you take a header with a cement truck. However, if you want to drive like an F-250 where you could survive taking a header with a cement truck, then don't be surprised that it won't do 180 miles per hour. 
You can't have it both ways, and it's no different in the world of finance. Now, I'm just a dumb fireman from St. Louis, but let me try and put these things into context here, okay? At the end of 2022, going into January of 2023, the S&P 500 was down about 19.5% from its all-time high at that point. And as of June 2024, it's up from it's up about 40%. Now again, the S&P is one of the few indexes that is actually performing well. A lot of these other indexes, especially some of these proprietary risk-controlled indexes from annuity companies have either been flat or down or maybe up a little bit. Let's just say that some of these indexes have only done about 3.5% per year over the past two years. So let's do this comparison here that you had $100,000 in the S&P 500, and by the end of 2022, it had lost 19.5%. That would leave you with $80,500. And let's say you stuck with it, you didn't panic, you just rode the wave, and now you're up 40% from that low point in time. $80,500 plus 40%, is almost $113,000. Now, if your annuity only did 3.5% per year over the past two years, that same 100,000 would be worth just over 107,000. So in the grand scheme of things, the difference between having that annuity for the same time period and being in the S&P 500, you have a little more than a 5% difference in the total ending value of your money. Now, I'm not trying to minimize anybody's feelings or concerns, that is not my job. You feel how you feel, okay? But we have to look at these things from a 30,000 foot view, okay? It's all about math, it's not about hype. And I understand the emotional roller coaster people feel, especially when they're losing money, but that fear of missing out can be just as intense. Now, we're in an election year and we're way overdue for a recession. Okay, we haven't had one since 2008. And all of the indicators are there. That cement truck is right around the corner. And hopefully you're not going too fast, meaning you're not overly dependent on what your equities are going to do. But while the Ferrari is in the shop, if you do wreck it, those of you who also have the F-250 sitting in the driveway will still have the reliable transportation to get you where you want to go in the first place for your retirement. And then eventually the Ferrari gets fixed. And not only that, the road opens up really wide and it's straight. So you can go as fast as you want. And this is just how it goes. It always has and it always will. It's cyclical. And I like to think I do a pretty good job of not over-promising anything to my clients because I'd rather be one of those rare people that under-promises and hopefully over-delivers in the end. And every financial product has its downfalls and its benefits. It has its ups and its downs, its pros and its cons. So that's why we have to be very specific about the purpose of your money. And that's why I try to focus on the educational aspect with this podcast and not some type of propaganda show that tries to convince people that annuities are going to solve all their problems because they won't. No single financial product is going to solve all of your financial problems or all of your financial needs. But if we take a look at the right products in the right balance, that can actually help solve most of your financial needs. So that's really all I have for you this week, a quick hitter. And for those of you who are listening, if you're finding this information helpful, please subscribe to the podcast, please like it, and please share it with someone that you think could benefit from the information. And if you have any personal questions about your situation, all you have to do to book a phone call with me is go to atlasannuity.com, atlasannuity.com to get your personal Atlas annuity strategy. Everyone, I hope you're having a great week. Again, this is Marty Becker wishing you all the best in your financial education.